everybody and I am back with another layout today we're scrapping more birthdays so um, I'm going to start off with these two photos of my stepson and his family and it was my daughter-in-law's grandmother's 90th birthday and they surprised her so I just thought it was really sweet so um, the bottom picture has both her mom and her grandmother in otherwise it's her grandmother at the top with all the kids and so just kind of a fun these photos are a little blurry um, I'm not sure what happened why they didn't translate well when she sent them to me but they didn't but they're important so they're getting scrapped no matter what all right so I'm starting out with that cake background paper that is from Echo Park a birthday wish birthday boy cake and then I um mounted the two photos on that polka dot paper from Bella Boulevard, the Bella Besties freehand graph dot in golf. But I'm feeling like the photos are are floating. So I need something to anchor it. So I'm going to go to that one third, two third formula and use this dry paper from um, a birthday wish. It's the four by four journaling cards paper. And I think that's really going to help give this a focus. I did, um, kind of start this out by found that birthday cake sticker and really loved that and that's kind of what started me and then I looked for the cake paper this is a boy collection but I think it works really well just with these colors and I, I only got a little bit of it and now I realize I need more because I'm got a lot of girl birthday paper left but not very much boy paper so I need to really um, look at that I am going to add this washi tape. I think it's from Doodlebug, but I'm not positive about that. So don't quote me on that. It's very, very thin. It's just a little scallop border. Um, and I like how that works. That um, cake sticker, by the way, is from the uh, Birthday Wish Element sticker sheets. I do like this Wish Big, which is from a Bella Boulevard boy birthday collection, but it, it just didn't sit right with the cake. So I abandoned that idea. I did pop the cake up on Pop Dots, by the way, too. So there's the sticker sheet from A Birthday Wish Boy. Then I found this little um, sticker from that, that sheet that says Let's Celebrate. I like the idea of that. And I'm looking through the two ephemera packs that come with the Birthday Wish collection to try to see what I might find here. I'm just sorting. There's a lot of, the one thing I don't love about these Echo Park packs is there's a lot of words, but not a lot of like icons. Like I think they need to do more of the icons that they put on the sticker sheets on into their die cut packs, just in my humble opinion. And that's a great example. That was the only thing one of the few things like that there's just that little tiny birthday cake circle if they had more than that more like that and a few less of the i mean i think they're using them kind of as as titles but there's way less other things that you can use all right so now um i'm just kind of making sure that grandma's and i wanted to put grandma's 90th birthday but the um the letters are too big here. This is an uh, Ellie Studio Jane alphabet stickers. Not that they have a tile version and then they have just this version in white. And I think I said this in a video a few weeks ago. When you find something on Ellie Studio and you like it, buy it. Um, especially if you're talking about alpha stickers and that kind of stuff because they don't stay around forever. When, they're, when they sell out and they're gone, they're gone. Um, they might bring them back eventually, but not always. So just keep that in mind. So I, I like the white here, just it's playing off a lot of the white in the background. Um, and I think you really notice it and see it. So I decided to use that. Um, there's lots of other colors I certainly could have used, but you it really um, calls your attention to it. And because the photos are so dark, I think it also gives you kind of an area to focus on as well too, because you're getting that contrast between the dark photos and the light numbers. I mean, I just, you know, I think it looks cute the way it landed here. Also, I have tons of these letter stickers, so it's nice to be able to use them up. And these are sticking down pretty well. They don't always, you can take a brayer over stickers like that, and that will help keep them down. So speaking of LA Studio, I am going to use um, these uh, label stickers here. They're called label stickers. They're the LA, or the label stickers I'm using 
are the um, cardstock, cardstock basic shapes. And I've had these for a while and have used really none of them. They're really plain. I like the idea that they were aqua, but I just haven't used a ton of them. And they're very small. They're not very big, but they work really well as just kind of a little accent um, spot. I needed a little something behind that cake and let's celebrate. Plus it gives me a little room for journaling. I wasn't there. Um, you know, she turned 90. That's the big information and the date that they celebrated is really what I wanted to get on this. Then I wanted another different texture. I talk about this all the time. So in this particular case, um, I decided to go with these Bella Boulevard hearts here enamel hearts. They're the Illustrated Faith Oh My Heaven Mix enamel hearts. So I'm going to put, going to put three down. And then when I do that, then I decide that I also need to get a label behind each of the hearts as well too. So now we have some sort of label in each um, area, even though they're not exactly the same, each area of embellishment or embellishment cluster. I'm going to play with this one a little bit to get it how I like it, to get that heart down. It's just a, you know, another little grounding element within that. You need some sort of element to ground your um, embellishment clusters and then layers on top of it. And I usually like to do a, about three layers. So which usually is like a, a grounding element, oftentimes like a label sticker, then some sort of other sticker or something um, on that, and then a smaller element like the enamel hearts or enamel dots, those kinds of things. Which, speaking of enamel dots, to pop the color up because the one on the bottom right there was very aqua and no other color, I'm going to add in these navy enamel dots from Altenew the Glacier Caves enamel dots, and that pops that embellishment cluster up nicely. It's going to do the same, you know, just it's a little bit more of an attention focus and helps bring your eye to the heart as well, too, as you're seeing that. But it really helped that cluster on the right. All right, everybody. Hope you guys are all well. I will be back with or actually <laughs> here's the still shot. Couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are well and I will be back with another layout soon. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.